Hello everyone, hope you're well. Today it's IndyCar, IndyCar again. I want to talk about the hybrid engine it has been postponed from 2023 to 2024, the arrival of hybrid engine. Obviously there's been COVID that uh, slowed down the world quite a bit and it's been very hard for the manufacturer to get the parts uh, to get ready for the new hybrid engine in IndyCar. So instead of being in 2023, it'll be in 2024, but it's coming. It's gonna be more power. It's gonna be more push to pass. It's gonna be quite interesting. So the new engine are gonna be V6 2.4 liters hybrid versus uh, V6 2.2 liters right now. In IndyCar, at the minute we do have about 600 horsepower, 650 with the push to pass. I believe we're going to go to 700 horsepower with 800 on the push to pass button, uh, button on the hybrid one. So it's quite a complex technology. Obviously running hybrid on oval is something quite tricky. Uh, you pretty much never break on a speedway. So how do you recharge the, the hybrid part if you don't break? So that's where all the challenge in any car is. is that's what it's got a lot of testing. We've heard recently Honda and Chevy going testing in Indiana police GP without the hybrid part but on the new 2.4 liters uh, they sound good they did a quite a lot of mileage so things are going smooth testing has started but yes it's not gonna come before 2024 but it's gonna be more power so more power means more traction more torque out of the corners some of the racetrack may be quite tricky which is good you know it gives us a, a new challenge but yeah it's gonna be more power some some track like road america or indy gp is gonna be fairly you know straightforward to use it but some other places maybe like bumpy long beach or detroit twisty barber it could be uh, quite a bit of a challenge on the throttle application uh, drivability also there's a lot of work being done there to make sure that we can use the power it's not all straightforward i would say uh, the hybrid system is going to be on the gearbox it's not it's not a battery system it's a little bit different that what you have in formula one but it brings weight it brings weight quite a bit so more power more top speed higher weight means that it's a much harder time on the brake for the brakes uh, for the tires as well so indica is, is working on all of that i don't think we're gonna have a new chassis with it if i'm very picky and i say exactly what i would love it would be great to have a new chassis with a new hybrid engine coming it would you know the chassis is a 2011 i believe in indica made a lot of progress safety wise but got, it's gone heavier and heavier with the, the years the aero screen is a very good safety device but it's also heavy so if they could do a new one that'd be great but obviously there's cost and we want to make sure that every team is, is doing great so we'll see when that happen but that will be my ideal Christmas list, list, right? Hybrid also to try to bring in third constructors. We've heard a couple of names around. I don't know where it is, to be honest. I think there was some talk with Ferrari. We may have heard Toyota coming. It would be really good to have a third manufacturer in, in IndyCar. It's gonna be a different hybrid from Formula One. I mean, at the minute, the way you drive in IndyCar, you switch on the engine, you go out of the garage, and then it's flat out all the time, right? There's no charging, discharging, out lap, push lap, cool down, recharge lap or stuff like that because it's not a battery system it's just I mean, it's just it's just an engine I, I, know, I love that i love that i love going out of the pit and push all the time as hard as you can come back in debrief go again and push hard so in formula one you know you've seen the steering wheel in one of the previous video if you haven't just make sure that you click here and, and go and watch it i'll tell you all the secrets behind the buttons but yeah in any card there's less buttons it's more straightforward i feel that the system is going to be a little bit easier to run than the formula one one but again it's early days and i haven't yet tried it on the sim i think it's going to come very soon but yes it's coming it should be better for fuel consumption should be better for the environment so it's it's the right decision but obviously we need to make sure that we have the advantage on the others and that we can uh, win a lot of races is the indycar behind formula one yes yes it's technology wise indycar is behind formula one but you have to also understand that a budget is about 10 times if no more cheaper in indycar than it is in formula one uh, we use ethanol as gas right and not fuel it's less efficient than fuel but it's more environmental and friendly it's got 20 percent less pollution in, in in our fuel that is in good direction but yes the, the technology in indycar is simpler the car is simpler it's the same for everyone it's very much like a formula two an advanced formula 2 but i like the fact that we all have the, the same one and that everyone's got a chance to win the race i think we've seen in formula one you know hybrid coming and then 2014 mercedes were dominant they were the best power unit for so many years in formula one with the hybrid system and, and some of the other really struggled initially Renault and then ferrari it was tough so in indycar i feel like we need to make sure that to bring it to the table 
we have all manufacturers to be pretty much on the same level. We don't really want to see one completely dominating as, as it was the case in Formula 1. I don't think that's quite the mentality. So um, there's going to be a lot of testing done during the year. There's going to be a lot of testing on road course. There's going to be a lot of testing on ovals. As I say, it's hard on ovals to make it work. There could be a paddle behind the steering wheel that you would use as a recharging paddle. And that would, you you know, cost you some, some straight line speed that would, that would recharge the hybrid. So, you know, there's a lot of discussions. There's going to be a lot of tests. I'm looking forward to being involved and give my feedback. Obviously, I've got a lot of experience from Formula One, so that could be super helpful. So yeah, guys, um, make sure that you like, subscribe, comment. I'm reading your comments and, you know, talking, making small tweaks in, on the videos so I can answer your questions. But yeah, hybrid is coming in the car. I'm excited. It's going to be more power. It's going to be more technology. It's going to be a little bit more thinking behind it to get it right. And that's 2024. It gives me a couple of years before to win the championship. And then uh, we can go into the new generation. Subscribe, like, leave me a comment. And I'll see you very soon.